All right, we actually had to start a new video. Don't worry, I got the bike on the floor, but I got the wiring set up. So I'll be tipping the bike upwards right here and finishing the wiring. In one moment, um, I got to, I got to get the screws for it though, so I can mount it. It's going to be very important so that I don't leave the wiring hanging. So they're in here, they're the very last thing remaining in this package. Oh, there's like six of them. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Now we'll lift this bike back up for you. We should be back in the picture. Um, I got to put one more wire up here. I just don't want to put any stress on the wiring. I'm trying to figure out how this goes in here. I'm not an electrician. This should be pretty basic. Oh, here we go. Thought that would be it. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to jam all this wiring inside of here. I got home screws in my hand. I'm holding this over here. I got a wire thing. I don't know if I need to cut it or not. What well, would be best if, if I could just push all that wiring down into there. We'll put that knife down and try this. Close. Get them close, guys. Now I gotta try to find the damn screw holes. Oh, there we go. It fit on there like a glove. Woo! I'm excited. We are almost done with this. Now it's mounted. So I can, uh, I just gotta read the directions quick, make sure I'm doing this properly. I need my screwdriver. I'm gonna make sure the video is actually capturing the bike. Yep, okay. So, screwdriver, where are you? It's around you somewhere. Just had it. I'm looking guys, it's got to be right here, here it is. Gotta read a quick direction here. Those are 40, aren't they? Okay, so I'm on these first. Now, if you haven't bought the uh, AC plug-in, I suggest you do it. It's like an extra 15 bucks, but you never have to buy batteries ever. Still got to pay your electric bill, but this thing's like should be cheap to run. Uh, but if you do, are using batteries, they go right here and right here. You just unscrew it and stick them in. They're D batteries, those big round ones that you used to put in toys in the 80s. I haven't seen those for a while. You know, jukeboxes or boom boxes used to use them. I would not over tighten these, these screws right here, just uh, nice and firm because you don't want to crack anything internally. That's where all your digital components are. Once again, this bike is available at an amazing rate. You're looking at a very low rate, just a couple hundred on Amazon. I got the link right below in the description to get you the best deal available. Um, I highly suggest it. What 
I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up in front of you. We put on this harness here to hide these bolts because this thing is cosmetically beautiful. Um, so we're just going to put that on yet. Real quick, i got to get my screwdriver prepped for it. There we go. Yeah, this literally hides all of the bolts for you and everything. Okay, so I might not have the best screwdriver for this part. I just lost my screw. I'll find it. It's right down on the floor here, but uh, let me try this other screw. See if I can get this one started. I hear it popping and cracking and shit. There's a screw in it. It's not even sticking through. Uh, these must be the wrong screws. Let me read this quick. I want screw 40. I think I already used all available screws. Yeah, these are 40. Hmm, that's odd. Oh, there we go. Kind of got to jiggle them around on there separately. You put the screw in there, jiggle it around until they pop out the bottom. Put pressure on it with your oh, screwdriver. I got a bad screwdriver. It's not long enough. It's too fat right here. So I got to get a different screwdriver. I don't know if I have one on me, so I might have to do that piece separate from this video. This is that $15 power adapter I got right here. I'm really excited to power this baby up in a minute. Um, I grab this screwdriver. We'll see if this little tiny one, it'll fit in there better for sure, but I don't know if it'll reach all the way. We'll try it. I think it will work. Beautiful. Um, let's give you a general overview of it. And I'm going to do one more video for you guys. This is it fully set up here. In the next video, we will go ahead and power it up. We'll get you some better lighting on it. And uh, we're going to power it up. I'm going to do the next video in just a second. So I'll put it on this um, playlist. Enjoy. Be sure to check out the uh, link in the description for a great deal on the product, all the details and more. But I'm going to show you all the different programs that are on this, how the fan works and more. I'm just going to start a new video here in just a few minutes. Thanks for checking this out. This has been the installation and setup of the uh, 290C Gold's Gym elliptical bike.